all over the india mobile congress is coverage uh, business today tv is at the heart of it and of course the coverage of the imc cannot be completed without speaking to a uh, global conglomerate like ericsson and of course uh, i'm joined by a very special guest here the cto mr eric thank you eric for joining us at uh, business today tv sir uh, you know uh, tell us about you know the 5g rollout uh, there have been various advancements you know you've been showing a lot of uh, innovations at the imc tell us about what really Uh, is this two three things that really make stand that make Ericsson stand out at the IMC and what really new is happening at Ericsson? Well, first of all, congratulations to India for this fantastic event, IMC. I, coming back here a few years later, it's it's well, it's such an energy, and you can see that 5G being rolled out nationwide in India is a great platform for innovation. So when we then start to think about enterprises using 5G, consumers using 5G, homes using 5G with fixed wireless access. that nationwide coverage is really the platform and of course we are showing things like advanced in this case in this case real life digital twinning which is just a next step of 5G into cyber physical system so i think it's a lot of good examples of what you can do with 5G but it's also very much about how to make business out of 5G that's really what we're doing so you know what eric uh, india has been a very big market for uh, you know ericsson you have been here for like ages now uh, you've been constantly making a whole lot of investments into the country uh if i may ask you what's new at ericsson and uh, as far as india plans go the investments have been done you know the money has been sent development has been happening uh i want to ask you what's what's really driving growth for ericsson in india now well i think india as such is betting on mobile as a digital infrastructure for society you see it with the payment services the identity services you see it with connecting every part of society and i think that has become a world benchmark a world leadership so for ericsson to be a part of india's journey towards full digitalization is extremely important but as you said we've been here for 100 years so this is not a new thing what we do work even more with now is the long term we're working with universities and uh, partners in the ecosystem because there's so much more that we can do with mobile 5g upgrading to advanced uh, ai services advanced edge services and ultimately of course new spectrum and even more Uh, of societal services relying on the 5G 6G system. So yes, we are working very much with uh, partners with our customers, uh, all the big customers here as we are advancing 5G. All right, uh, when you when you when you mention about advancing 5G, if I may ask you some numbers, uh, what investments have you uh, you know are you making in India as far as advancement in 5G is concerned? You also understand you know uh, the uh, 5G usage in enterprises is also coming up. Uh, if you could give us some numbers there, uh, how much investments amount are you uh you know as technology wise you're trying to invest in india or maybe would be looking forward to yeah i i can't sort of share any specific numbers but when it comes to uh, in the indian market this is uh, the place around the world where we have most of our employees we're working very much as i said with our r&d service delivery but it's also very much taking the enterprise needs to the next step so over uh, on on the other side here you see 5g enterprise solutions that can serve everything from public safety to uh, um small medium businesses adopting 5G and of course that has uh, advantages in terms of lower cost flexibility and it builds on the early roll out of fixed wireless access which is on paving the way for mass market reaching homes reaching businesses reaching enterprises and those investments they are targeted to the indian market of course but they are also leveraging uh, the capabilities for the rest of the world so it comes together what we do in india and what we do for the rest of the world eric since you know you are a technology guy and you know you know the crux of the technology how it's done i want to uh, you know for the benefit of our viewers i want to know how uh, uh, you know the, the role of, of 5g in india has been a uh, little bit you know has 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 got its own problems because uh you know the issue of coverage and uh, call drops uh, is still persisting uh do you feel there's a problem with the telecom manufacturers or the equipment manufacturers or at the in at the end of the service providers where we can i mean uh, how can the technology help in improving the service network and the rollout of 5g well two two sides of that one is that the uh, indian networks are actually very good and if you look at those 450000 5g base stations that have been rolled out in record time here in india i don't see that anywhere in the world so i think there is leadership in india when it comes to 5g rollout then when it comes to automating network management we are working very much with our customers when it comes to ai as a technology to help with that and uh, that gives us capabilities towards autonomous networks that you do not have to do uh, manual interventions you you can get support from the ai that is built into the network and ultimately you can create a better service 
better user experience to the customer, and also you can lower your energy consumption. And we see good proof points of that uh, over on the other side here. We also have a lot of investment when it comes to embedding AI in the network with lower energy consumption, so energy efficient AI. And those are capabilities that will come in over the coming years. So a lot also on the operations right. side. And Eric, last question, final question to you. You know, uh, you have also been mastering the use of artificial intelligence when it comes to your tech uses. I want to ask you the future of AI when it comes to, you know, rollout of uh, uh, 5G networks and 6G networks in India and later, later on. So how, uh, what is the role of, you know, AI when it comes to, uh, for a company like you? I think I almost touched upon that because uh, AI is built in already today in networks, it's embedded, but AI, Gen AI comes in also in terms of managing networks in 5G and the evolution into 6G. So what we are showing is how that can be done in an energy efficient way so that you can get all the benefits of AI trustworthy AI, responsible AI in the network, but you do it at the lower energy consumption than you would do otherwise. So our investments are really about making all networks AI powered, 5G today, all the way to 6G. Well, Eric, pleasure as always to speak to you. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. That was Eric, uh, the CTO of Ericsson, uh, speaking to Business Today TV on, uh, you know, the po endless possibilities that the Indian markets acquire. And of course, uh, with the advancement of 6G, but 2029 to 2930, we can always expect India to be the leader in 6G as well. Thank you so much, Eric, for joining us. Pleasure Thank as always. You. Thank you.